Now the, the pin in the remote needs to be the same pin that we just set in the controller. In this case, the controller has a 2234 pin value. So you can hit any button on the remote to wake it up. And as you'll see right now, it's going to be sending not accepted and no signal. That's because right now this has a 0000, zero, zero, zero pin and we have 2234 two, two, in the controller. So you hold both of these top buttons down to get into the pin. And if it doesn't work the first time, as because it might be during the process, hold it down again and you'll see your pin with the first digit flashing. You'd use the side arrow to move to the other digits in the pin and the up and down arrow to change the values. So in this case we're going to set it as 2234. Move to the second digit, third digit, and fourth digit. And the final step is to hit the start button and as you'll see, it'll say sending, accepted, and then change to auto. And in this case, to verify that we're communicating with the controller, we can say auto on, auto on. If we hit the auto off button, auto off is now displayed, and auto on is now turned off. So we can toggle back and forth between the devices and we can turn it on and off. That verifies that the remote now is communicating with this controller.